Hey everybody, this is Rido, and we are back with another recording of LEGO Star Wars The Complete Saga. And we only have one more story mode to get through, into the Death Star. And then we are done with story mode, technically! We are done with episode 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 at least. Um, there is the Bounty Hunter mode, which I will at the end of this recording look at, and more than likely we're going to play those next uh, because I feel like those aren't really going to change anything as far as the collectibles modes and the free play modes and the challenge mode. So I assume this is going to be a flying around level. Uh, I don't think we really we sort of had one before, but I think we have to blow up the Death Star again. Isn't that what we're doing? I guess Lando Calrissian was a good guy after all. And then we see this new guy, and we see some hyperspace. Look how everything in that scene was Lego. That was good. That's kind of what I wanted to see for the whole game. As long as you can make something in Lego and it's still recognizable, I'm fine with it. And that's how the game should be. Not even I'm fine with it. So, I, we sorta kinda already flew in around an area like this. We now have our score doubler. We were able to unlock it. So there's the destroyed uh, Death Star in the background. We are looking for the red brick, but I am not seeing There's a mini kit, I'll take that. There's a battle cruiser over there, a battle cruiser over there. A nice use of the background images. Have the view that we're supposed to be dealing with in the foreground, and then go to the background. Unfortunately, the game is not really giving us a great goal as to what we're supposed to be doing. So we're supposed to be taking out these guys with these missiles. And then, when I take out the guys with the missiles, getting the missile, which is hard to do, and then taking out these big purple things, and that is the only explanation at all. Just figure that out. Once you hit those two, it just magically falls downward. Notice it's falling just straight downward, not even towards the gravitational uh, pull of the planet. The ship uh, would only really do that if, I guess, there was some out of control stabilizers because you blew up those two things. So not scientifically accurate at all as to why that would be happening. But they go downward and then they fall off the bottom of the screen. Mostly all I'm doing here is just tapping X like crazy, which is most of this game is just tapping X like crazy and seeing what happens. So I believe that's the three I need to take for us. No, there's a four over here, I bet. Fourth one. We'll come over. Notice how there was a big empty section there where no bad guys were flying around me until I got closer to this ship and then they started flying near me. But they just didn't program it. They only programmed a specific ring of influence that you have to be in for these random bad guys to show up. Take that guy out, and I believe we will be done with this thing. We'll do a little cut to it. And I don't see anything more. Yep. It would have been alright to have just had to do that three times instead of four. 
<laughs> Don't hit the controls, apparently. <laughs> So now we're going to be flying through here. I'm just going to kind of take it a little slow. Uh, try to get True Jedi. There's no reason why I shouldn't get True Jedi with the, with the stud doubler on. I'm also still looking for the red brick, which is hidden somewhere in this level. So I've not seen my brick detector point at it yet. You see through all these explosions there's an infinite infinite, infinite missile dispenser. Which means we're getting to a section that really needs the missile. Three missiles are needed. And all these missiles are just glowing red balls, which really doesn't make a lot of sense. I don't know if there were even missiles in the Star Wars universe. Uh, we saw the Death Star and we saw, saw people with lasers, but I don't know if I ever saw anybody with a missile or anything. I'm pretty sure I never saw the Millennium Falcon use them. This door just opens when you get near it. This door won't open until you play as the bad guy style ship. So now I have to come back and get more missiles. Why would you build your facility like this? So large that people could fly through it? That doesn't make a They could have very easily not had missiles in this game at all, and we would have just shot the button for lasers. dying a lot, and because I am dying a lot, I am losing starts not getting Which is rather annoying. There we are, we have that down. Ah, the red power brick is here. So where is it? Where is that red power brick? Point this way. It's right behind these two things. So I need two missiles. So if I go if I quit getting hit, go this way, back, quite a way, don't I? 
if I had the power break the infinite torpedoes, uh, are they tor torpedoes or missiles? with me. Come this way. Hit that one. Hit that one. There we go. There's our red power brick. We have got it. Good. Now how do we take out this core? Am I gonna need more missiles? No, I think I just need to open the gates and shoot them. Looks like all those are. Oh. Shield is down, and I release my missile here. Blow it up, and I've blown up the core. Now we've got to escape quickly, so we get a perspective shift. For the first time ever in this game, we are now flying the opposite direction towards the camera as we are exploding. Got a mini kit there somehow. Again, I have to question why you would bother to design your ship like this so, with such large tubes that you could fly down them. Another collectible, good. I am true Jedi, which I'm happy about that. I knew I was a true Jedi all, all along. If anybody out there really thinks that they're Jedi, no you're not. Let me just put it to you straight. They, they're a made up thing from a made up movie series. So they blow up the Death Star a second time and save the Ewoks. And now they dance with people's heads on, helmets on their head. Smoochy smoochy. Level complete. Free play unlocked. So that is totally complete. The question now, infinite torpedoes, was what the red burger is, which is alright. That's good. Question now is will I get a hundred thousand or two hundred thousand for getting a, each gold brick now that I have the doubler on? I'm at 140,000 right now. Is it going to go up one or two hundred thousand? I think it's still only going to go up 100,000. Sadly. One, C, 100,000. Then another 100,000 for the other gold brick I got. So, doing, getting the gold bricks is going to get me a considerable amount of studs. It's just you can't increase the amount you're going to get for those things. Now they're burning the body of Anakin. And so he comes out as a ghost in his... How he would, I guess, have looked when he was young. Uh, and the Jedi ghosts don't make any sense, but whatever. And everybody's happy, everybody succeeded. Except for Luke who got his hand chopped off. 
which I guess isn't terrible. <laughs> And that's the end of the original series of Star Trek. <laughs> Not Star Trek. Star Wars. Uh, that's the end of episode 6 of Star Wars. And from that perspective, you should be, you can go out now and watch episode 7, The Force Awakens, and see if the story connects at all or makes any sense. Uh, pretty much it's probably going to be a very loose connection in the story. Star Wars Episode 7 is about starting a new trilogy, not just continuing the works of Episode 4, 5, and 6, and most definitely it's not going to have much connection at all to Episode 1, 2, and 3 because those weren't very well received. Now there, of course, is a very good possibility that Episode 7 will come out, and it is going to be not well received either. Uh, if that happens to be the case, then maybe we'll see a 7, 8, 9, but I doubt we'd ever see a 10. Uh, if we get movie series into the 10th, that would be potentially groundbreaking. I don't know of many series that they get that far, huh? Well, let's see. Well, you could argue that a lot of the Dragon Ball Z movies probably are into their 20 or 25th movie series, but those are made for TV movies. I don't think you could say any big budget series has gone much longer. Harry Potter went seven at movies, um, I believe, or eight. I don't know. Uh, the line, the witch in the wardrobe, always intends itself to be to go for six or seven movies, but ends up uh, ends up running out of steam after a few of them. Which, and that's the Chronicles of Narnia book series, not called the second book. Is it technically the line, the witch in the wardrobe? Uh, That's a good book series to read if you're a young kid and you want to read it. I, I definitely enjoyed reading it when I was a kid. Uh, let's see. But, yeah. I have a hard time believing that, that even... Even if Episode 7 is great, it's going to be shocking to me if they get to an Episode 10. That would be rather shocking. 20 hours of 20 hours, probably closer to 22, maybe even 24 hours of Star Wars movies that if they got to an episode 12 then that would be over 24 hours certainly of movies that that somebody would have to sit through and watch uh, I want to after playing this story mode I really do want to go watch all of the movies in some form. I probably would fast forward through a lot of scenes in episode 1, 2, and 3, but I still kind of want to go watch it. Uh, but even with those six movies, you're talking 12 hours, and that's a lot of time. A lot of time. We've only been playing this game for maybe 12 to 15 hours, and it has felt like a lot longer. Part of that is just inherently that there are definitely some flaws in this game. This is the first LEGO game that was ever made, um, and you can definitely feel it when you start playing some of the newer ones. They fixed a lot of those problems. They've made it easier. They've made it smoother. They've made it less repetitive. Hopefully, still it's very repetitive and very collection heavy. If you're not the type of video gamer that likes to collect 100% uh, of all the collectibles, you're not really going to enjoy LEGO games as much as uh, you probably should. Uh, because right now would be the end of a non-collector's playthrough through this game. 
they would just say, okay, I've played through it, I spent the 15 hours and I'm done. But there's probably three times as much more content still in this game that we haven't done. We haven't gotten True Jedi and everything. We haven't gotten all of the mini kids. We haven't done the bounty hunter levels. We haven't uh, we haven't done the challenge levels. We haven't played all of the episodes in Super Story mode. Um, you don't need to play the character bonus or the mini kit bonus. It, but those are there to be enjoyed. Those are kind of two player experiences where it really makes sense to do that. Otherwise you're just playing against the clock to see how fast it takes you to get a million studs in a specific level. There's still quite a lot to do. And we're gonna, once we get through these credits, we're gonna get to the We're gonna go check out the bounty hunter levels, which I think is what we're gonna do next. So you beat the game, it tells you you're 44.2% done of all the collectibles. So we're not even halfway done as far as the collectibles go. So I need to get the best time in the best score to get two more red bricks, which would get me 200,000 uh, studs for that alone. But it will also then allow me to play through the entire level again, and uh, the entire episode, the, all the, of the levels, and th while you're doing that with the coin doubler on, I can be done. Hmm. This is strange. It's not open. Ooh. So that solves my problem right there. If I can't get into the bow bounty hunter mode yet, which it seems like that is the case, then we will start playing on free play mode. Now we're not going to go quite in order. Well, you know what the, let's see, how can we do this? What do we really need? Hmm. I did not think this through, obviously. So what I need to do is I need to, as I'm going through this, with my spare hand free, bring up my tablet that has the walkthrough on this so I can see the location of the mini kit detector. And as we go around in circles here, let's see where that power burk is. Let's see. Episode 5, Chapter 6. Now let me just scroll through everything else and see if I absolutely need anything here. Still reading, sorry. I know this is boring. And I know I'm not hitting the button right. Okay, so episode 5, chapter 6 is. Let's see. So, because we can't 
get in here. I imagine I either have to be a bounty hunter to get in this section, or I let's see if I can find one. We'll double check that. Nope, can't find the bounty hunter, so we'll deal with that in a second. Alright, this is the one we need to play in. So, trick here is to play as Darth Vader, or Jango Fett, that works too, or Jar Jar Binks. Any of those, the point is you want that group that's handed to you right there to be a small group. So, I'm not looking for any other collectibles. Like this collectible here. These are the collectibles I am not looking for. But I'll pick them up anyways. Now that we're playing in free play mode, we can just... Can just do this. Let's open this. And what we're doing here is we're cheating our way right before we beat. Before we beat uh, Chengo Fett, there, Charger. No, we're Boba Fett. It, it's Boba Fett. We want to get to his ship before he does. I believe that's this way. Here we go. This is not the right way. I think I've gone the wrong way. Pretty sure I've gone the wrong way. What is this gonna do? Alright, fine, whatever. Yeah, I don't think this is the right way, though. How dare you shoot Darth Vader? I think I'm in the wrong hallway. Sorry if this is... This episode is taking a while. I recognize that myself. But we need to get this mini kit detector before we start going through all of the other levels. Here it is. So we needed to beat him to the ship so we could get this. And that's all we needed to do. So what you can do is you can just now go to Moss Eisley can Cantina, save and exit. And now we have the mini kit detector. And hopefully we can unlock that with the amount of studs I have. Otherwise I will play off screen until that is the case. Hmm. I am Boba Fett, which is the guy, which is the bounty hunter. So now we'll go back to the bounty hunter section and see if we can get through that door too. So we're gonna go through every level. We're gonna try try and.
Make sure we're true Jedi, which shouldn't be that hard. And infinite torpedoes would be 25,000. That's fine. Mini kit detector is that much. So I will take that and be happy with that. So I need to go ahead and extras and turn it on. Now we will get arrows pointing to all the mini kits. There's really not a big reason why we shouldn't be able in free play mode to get all of the This guy's still not letting me in. So there's something more. I probably have to get all the gold blocks. Which, if that's the case, that is fine. Uh, seems like that is the case that I'm gonna have to get every single gold break before it lets me into the bounty hunter missions. So that solves that question. We are set nicely. Uh, now is still not quite the point that we would want to go through here and buy all of these. These are things that we kind of just want to unlock after we've done everything else. After we've unlocked all of the multiplications, I did un unlock Django Fett here. I did. I don't believe I unlocked anybody else. There is one thing I do need to unlock, though, and that is a Tie Fighter as a bad guy, because I do not have any bad. That guy ships. In fact, it would probably be fine if I took all of these and just spent the money on them if I had the money. Uh, because it really doesn't matter on the ship levels. Now, character wise, there's only one guy here that that is still locked and that is Indiana Jones. Uh, I think... I may have to look up how to unlock him, and then there's all of these hints. You may have to actually put in a code to get him done. The gold bricks, we will buy these gold bricks at the end, but that's 14 more. And as for story clips, we are still missing a few story clips because there are some funny cutscenes that haven't been weren't unlocked. Somewhere here, I know there weren't. Was a couple of them. Maybe after I did the whole story though, it unlocked everything. It might be the case. Because I'm not seeing any unlocked now. I'm not seeing any that aren't unlocked. So they may have just given everything to us. That, there are a lot of clips in this game. 100, 107, wow, how many are there? Well, somewhere less than that. 117 clips, and it seems like they are all unlocked now. Alright, so we're good now. Starting next episode, we will be playing free play mode through every single level we will try to get the red power bricks and the mini kits and as many studs as possible and make sure we get true Jedi and then we will see how long those levels take we may very well end up doing the challenge mode here too in the same episode same recording because that might just make it a little bit easier and then that would also if that is the case, if it ends up that we spend about an hour doing, or a little, always over 30 minutes doing each level, then we may change the release schedule. Uh, so you may start seeing that only new episodes only come out at 2 p.m. instead of 2 p.m. and 2:30. But 
that just kind of depends on how long it takes to do this next level to make and then I'll make that decision. That's it for this recording though. As always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe, comment if you want to, and watch every second of my videos. All that helps me out. If you want to support me, you can click on my name, Rido. On the right will be a blue button that says support this channel. Click it and make a donation. And if you want to friend or follow me on basically any social media sites, there's a whole bunch of links down below. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.